everyone. Thank you so much for tuning into Carol's Daily Sauce. I am back on today to do a few videos so that I can have some things lined up for you all. And one of the things I know that a lot of people like to look at are the news stories. These news stories are things that I have read on the internet. I usually name my news stories as crazy, wacky, strange news, but I'm just simply going to call it the news. One of the reasons being is because once you become monetized and because of the COPA Act, which is the Children's Online Privacy Protection Act, we need to be careful. One of the stories that I'm actually going to be sharing with you all is about a little girl. However, I will be sharing some of the things with you all, but where I was attempting or going to put in pictures, I won't be doing that video to be flagged in a negative way. With that being said, going forth, I only have three stories because one of the things that I'm trying to do now is to keep all of my videos within 15 minutes, no longer than 20. So these are news stories. The very first news story that I do have, which <laughs> is pretty strange. This is a news story that comes out of the state of Oklahoma. And there was a couple the only person that was named was the young lady. Her name is Amber Ellis. And the state that this comes out of is Oklahoma. As I said before, a couple had went out and had drinks. They went to go and have drinks for the night, out and about, having some fun. And somehow in the conversation, as they were at the club or at the bar, the gentleman who is not named, might I add, had mentioned to his girlfriend, Amber, that he felt that she was becoming too clingy, that she had recently become very, very clingy, and he wanted to know where all this was coming from. And Amber took great offense to this. So they ended up leaving the bar. Once they left the bar, they went home. So home, they lived together. And the gentleman said that they begin to have an argument. They begin to start arguing, fussing verbally and saying some things to one another that were not very, very nice. Y'all know how we can have disagreements and sometimes we can say and do those things that are not beautiful. They're not beautiful things. They're not conducive to our relationship. So what eventually happened is they both went into separate rooms. The gentleman did not know where Amber went, but because he wanted to remove himself from the arguing and the bickering, he went into the living room. As I said earlier, they had went out for a night of drinking. And so he went in the living room. Somehow, and I guess it wouldn't really be a somehow because if you're drinking spirits, alcohol, I don't know what they had to drink. I mean, hey, they could have had a beer or something of that nature. I don't know. But anyone knows that if you are drinking and you're drinking excessively, unfortunately, there are behaviors that can come about as a result of partaking in drinking excessive amounts of alcoholic beverages. So he was on the couch, sleep in the living room. And he didn't know what was going on because as I said, he was asleep, but he felt some pain in his genitalia area. And so he woke up abruptly, you know, abruptly. Now, prior to him falling asleep, remember, he and his girlfriend, Amber Ellis, had had a disagreement about her being too clingy. Long story short, he woke up out of his sleep to find Amber, his girlfriend, actually gnawing at his genitalia area as if she was attempting to bite it off. Now, I will say that that is a little bit too much information. However, 
it became seriously violent. He was able to forcefully get her off of him. But as he was trying to forcefully remove her off of him, she literally took his laptop, hit him, clocked him in the top of his head with the laptop. As a result, I'm assuming he ended up calling the police because being hit in the head was not the only place that he was hit. He was hit in the neck, he was hit in the face. To make a long story short, he needed several stitches to his genitalia area. He needed stitches to his head. He needed to be treated for injuries to his neck, to his face, to his finger, and to his knee. The young lady, Amber Ellis, is in custody, so she was arrested. She is being charged with maiming and assaulting with a dangerous weapon. Now, the only thing I want to know is, was a dangerous weapon the laptop or was it her teeth? Okay, I guess that part doesn't matter. <laughs> I tell you, it never ceases to amaze me what I can find on the internet. This story right here is something, this next story is something that we may or may not find really ironic. I know I've been in grocery stores and Walmarts and seen things happen, but in this particular grocery store, there were patrons who were on their way to go into Walmart in Ohio. And they wanted to stop at the Walmart to pick up a few items so that they could go home and prepare dinner. It was a couple. So they stopped by the Walmart to pick up these few things. And as they actually enter the Walmart, they see that the Walmart is in like a disarray. They see patrons in the store are running after something. And they're not really sure because they just walked through the front doors. So... As they get deeper into the Walmart and they're making their way over to see the center of attention, the gentleman's name is Moore. That is his last name. He goes over to see what's going on. And as he goes over to see what's going on, he notices that there is a actual deer in the Walmart store. People... Are screaming and attempting to grab and capture the deer and the deer is slipping and sliding on these very nicely waxed Walmart floors but the people were attempting I mean you guys it was a lot of people trying to get this deer dangerous dangerous number one because the deer was knocking over shelves he was knocking over clothes racks. He was knocking over cans, glass, all kinds of things. The store was in a straight up disarray because this deer was up in there just going cray cray. Okay. And what it is, is the deer was out of his environment. You know, sometimes they can be, it's almost like, you know, I see the light, but they're not really sure what it is that they're about to get into. And then once they actually get into the place that they've actually got into and they see actual humans, which they probably don't know what they are, but they know that they're in the wrong place. So he was trying to run. And as he was trying to run, like I said, he was destroying the store. So the people were running after him. And as the people are running after him, the patrons, he's probably scared to death because he doesn't understand Okay, now they coming after me. You know, why, why are they coming after me? To make a long story short, more was that. Actually able to eventually grab the deer and held the deer down. 
there were a lot of people that worked in store management. There were other shoppers who helped to detain the, the deer. And once they detained the deer, they managed to kind of sway the deer out of the store. And the last time they seen the deer, he was seen disappearing into a neighborhood field. You guys know that I always include pictures of this. So this last story is so cute. And this story is about a 10 year old little girl. Actually, she wasn't 10. She was, she's almost 10. She's nine. And you know how when children are preparing for Christmas, they're making Christmas lists. She wrote her dad a note and her dad posted it to Twitter. Some of the things that this young lady put on this list Oh my God, you guys, this was the funniest thing. This tickled me pink, okay? So basically what the dad said after he got this letter was, my 10 year old must be out of her mind after seeing this Christmas list. He said, it is so bizarre. I have to post it to Twitter. So what eventually happened, it went viral and it left so many people in stitches. So here are some of the things that the young lady, iPhone 11, the newest iPhone, she wanted AirPods. She wanted a new, not a refurbished, a new Mac Airbook. She wanted a real bunny and clothes for that real bunny. She also wanted a hydro flask. I was like, okay, I know what a flask is. I know that hydro, hydro means water, but what exactly is it that this little young lady wants? So I looked, Hydro flask is a type of cup, an insulated cup. You can get it, they're real fancy. They average anywhere between 30 and $40. Sometimes even higher, depending on the style, the size, and the design on the outside of the cup. Very bright colors, some are turquoise, some are hot pink, some are just pastel pink. Some of them have the cherry blossom flower look on it. Really pretty insulated cups. She also indicated that she wanted clothes, she wanted some makeup, she wanted some Gucci slides, she wanted a GoPro camera, a Chanel purse, definitely some perfume. She wanted some new shoes and some earrings. She wanted pink duct tape. She spelled duck, D-U-C-K, like a duck quack quack. She wants pink duct tape that you can get from the dollar store. So some of the things that the young lady put on her list are very, very reasonable, but some of them are out of complete control. She wants a pair of checkered vans. She also wants $4,000 cash, new sheets, a comforter. She wants a detergent. Got to make sure she has a laundry detergent. There are some other things on here that I cannot say because if I say it, it may be flagged. So I'm not even going to put those in there. She also wanted essential oil, A-S-E-N-C-H-A-L. So I said essential oil. So I go type in it and I went, wait a minute. This little mama saying she wants some essential oil after seeing this Christmas list. He said it is so bizarre. I have to post it to Twitter. So what eventually happened, it went viral and it left so many people in stitches. You all have a wonderful and blessed day. Bye-bye.